Well, hey, it is Wednesday, January, let me see, 18th, 2023, going on 5.30 in the morning. I just, I woke up around 4, tried to go back to sleep. I was just awake. So I figured, may as well get up and get dressed and make some coffee. I was going to make a coffee that I know I like. And then I thought, you know, the other day I tried making the, um, let's see, Fredo Delicato. Where is that? Is this it? Let's see. Yeah. The Fredo Delicato which is meant to be an iced coffee, and <clears throat> I made it hot. Didn't like it. And it, here's the Fredo Intenso, okay? And the person who had asked me to try the Fredo Delicato hot to see what my opinion was, said that they did not like the Fredo Intenso either. They didn't even, they didn't like it iced, which is what it was made for, or hot. So I thought, all right, I'll try the Fredo Intenso hot. So I've got a big glass here because after I try this, whether I like it or not, I'm going to make myself a big cup of coffee. But let's go ahead. We'll run this. It is an espresso. And we'll see what happens. Um, you know, when you have like a Delicato and an Intenso or like a Chiaro and a, you know, Scuro or something like that, uh, sort of what seems like a less intense and a more intense or a light and a dark, they don't always taste the same. So, you know, it's worth it to give this a try. That's a little short. Let me get another spoon. Okay, here we go. We're just kind of to stir the crema a little bit back into the coffee. Okay, here we go. Oh, good morning, Linda. Yep, I am up early. Oh, Linda says the Australian Open has her up. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what is it tomorrow already in Australia or going on tomorrow anyway? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right, but this is this is meant to have. Okay, it's meant to be diluted. All right, so you know what I'm gonna do? I've ejected the capsule. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put in. All right, the instructions on this say to add about three ounces, which is 90 milliliters of either milk or water and then of course you're supposed to add ice but i'll just do things like this okay just with the extra water and see if this I don't know, helps <laughs> oh it's not so bad Definitely, okay, I will say this. You definitely have to dilute the Fredo Delicato and the Fredo Intenso, okay? So, and it makes sense because if it's made to be drunk as an iced coffee, that means it's made to be diluted, okay? So, yeah, let me try this again. You know, there's nothing outstanding about it, but it's not bad. Oh, I wonder, should I put a creamer in it? Or should I put a little milk? Eh, I'll put a creamer. 
consumer. I, to be real honest, I, I sort of feel like it might taste better with milk. But my milk is cold. Oh. <laughs> and I don't want to microwave this. I'll just I'll try it like this. I like cream and iced coffee. In regular coffee, yeah, milk, cream, coffee made, all kinds of stuff is fine. But yeah, let me try this. You know, this is, it's not bad. Um, whereas I dumped out the Fredo Delicato. I'm not going to dump this one out. This is pretty good. It's mild. Uh, would I know that this is an espresso coffee? You know, uh, the base of it being an espresso. E espresso. <laughs> um I don't know. I, I, you know, I might think that this is like a regular cup of coffee or something. Um, you know what I am going to do? I don't know. This might be crazy, but it might also be a smart way to use up these samples. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put... Oh. Fredo Delicato in here. Oh, why is my machine shutting off? All right. Okay, let me open it. Oh, okay, and I just ejected the capsule I put in here. Let me drag it back out. Okay, here it is. All right. Now, turn the machine on. I'll put the capsule in. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm running it as an espresso in here. And I'm gonna taste it, okay? And then, now I did not like the taste of it when I made it the other day, but Right now, I'm looking for a way to use up these samples that I have, because I've got another one also. So, all right. I give this a stir. Now, it's concentrated, all right? I mean, I added a concentrated capsule. I didn't balance it off with the extra liquid you're supposed to add, but let me try. going to go ahead and put in the three ounces of water. It's a good thing I started with a tall glass. Um, I may be ruining this entire thing and have to pour it out, but hey, you know, I'm trying an experiment. I'm using up all these capsules I've got. I've got like three sets of samples here. So, you know, I wouldn't want to just throw them out, but I'm getting some use out of them by experimenting here. All right, so in here, we've got a Fredo Intenso, a Fredo Delicato, and six ounces of water, approximately, and one creamer, and a Splenda. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, I'm gonna put in, well, let me put in another creamer. <laughs> okay, because it, it's a little bit watery tasting to me. All right. Here we go. But now it tastes too dilute to me. All right, you know what? Let, I don't know if I have a um, caffeine count on this. Let's see. Oh, look, 
Fredo Intenso, 56 milligrams of caffeine. Let's see if we have Fredo Delicato. Um, yeah, Fredo Delicato, 72 milligrams. Isn't that something? So look, Fredo Intenso is 56. Fredo Delicato, 72. I wouldn't have guessed that. You know, coffee intensity and caffeine don't always, you know, have, they don't correspond necessarily. Um, also, the flavor of a coffee, the natural flavor and the caffeine content don't necessarily correspond. Wow, okay. Because um, I was thinking, well, maybe I should put a cough, a strong coffee that I do like in here. Uh, you know, sometimes there's only so many things that you want to add together before you go, gee, I made a big mess here. All right. Uh, so you know how I'm going to make this better? I'm going to put in some salted caramel syrup. I don't know if that'll be enough. We'll see. Certainly plenty more if I need more. Okay, let's go here and see. <sighs> so, all right, here is what I've ended up with. I've got, let's see, I'll show you. I think I'll show you. There's so many boxes here. My gosh. All right. I have got a Fredo Intenso, a Fredo Delicato, about six ounces of hot water, two mini moo creamers, a Splenda, and a little bit of salted caramel skinny syrup, okay? Actually, the total calories in this is about 20 because it's just the mini moves. Everything else is zero. So what I have ended up with tastes pretty much like a blah American cup of coffee. You know, the kind of coffee where you say, yeah, it's coffee, but nothing special about it. So now my question is, oh, and by the way, 56 milligrams of caffeine in the Intenso, 72 milligrams of caffeine in the Delicato. So the question is, is this the cup of coffee I want to have this morning? You know what, because I don't want to waste all this stuff, and it's not bad, it's not, and it's hot, I'm going to go ahead and drink it. Wish it was a little, oh, okay, listen, I'm going to do this. You're going to think I'm crazy, okay? Hang on. So, I keep some decaf instant around because sometimes I make myself... Um, protein shakes and I'll, I like I like coffee flavor <laughs> could you guess that okay so I'm going to put just a little bit like a half a teaspoon oh, the ice just dropped in the ice maker that's what that clunk was I'm gonna put just a little half a teaspoon in here to strengthen the coffee flavor Okay, so hopefully I've helped it and I haven't made it sink worthy. <laughs> okay, now it really tastes like an American cup of coffee. Do you know what? This is just terrible. I, I did something the other day. Oh, I felt bad about it afterwards. I wanted some coffee. I was substitute teaching. It was the middle of the day. And they don't have Nespresso there, but they have 
uh, several machines that are Keurigs and light Keurigs. And so I thought, okay, you know, they had some like Starbucks, a good kind of, you know, a good kind of Starbucks coffee. If you're going to Starbucks, I prefer an espresso over Starbucks. But anyway, so um, I made a cup of coffee with it and there was another teacher coming through and I made a face and, you know, she looked at me like, what's wrong? And I said, oh, I'm used to drinking espresso. This, ugh, I don't like this. And I thought, oh my gosh, talk about coffee snobs. What, plus, you know, that wasn't a nice thing to say to a teacher. I don't like the coffee and the special machines you have in your teacher's lounge. Oh my goodness. And I thought, all those years that I accused my daughter of being a coffee snob, well, you know, as I say, if the shoe fits, wear it. Oh my gosh, I have turned into a coffee snob. But honestly, when you've been drinking espresso and espresso-based coffees, you know, something like coming from a Keurig, just, or a Mr. Coffee, or, you know, something like that, it just doesn't cut it. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get off here now and let everybody go about their day. But I'm not sure if I want to drink this. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. This should be the worst of my problems today, right? Okay. So, um... I guess I'll talk to you. Oh, now the ice maker's filling up. Hear that? You know, when you live in a small apartment, often their uh, sounds are intensified a lot compared to if you live in a, you know, roomy house or something. But I'm used to it all. Anyway, so yeah, hopefully I'll talk to you tomorrow and I'll have to decide what I'm gonna do about this coffee. Am I going to pour it out or just make some stuff new? Okay, yeah. So, what was I saying? Have a good day. I'll talk to you later.